Warning, this is a pest control video and it will show pests being controlled with air rifles. If this is likely to offend you, then please stop watching now. For the rest of you who like these type of videos, let's get on with the action. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pontypool Pest Control. In today's video, we're going to be handing out some more eviction notices to them dirty rats. But before we get into the action, I always get asked about the kit that I use, so let me quickly run you through it. My rifle choice for the evening is the FX Impact Mark 1. It's in 177 calibre. The scope is the Pad 008 LRF. LRF stands for Laser Range Finder and it's built into the scope. My pellet choice is the Mako Slugs 10.5 greens. They're very accurate through this rifle and they give it a little extra on impact. All the shots in this video are taken standing using the Primos Trigger Sticks Gen 3. I've had these sticks for a while now and I never go hunting without them. The chicken's bodies are as big as a 5 pence piece, just a little bit extra for the head and the tail. It's always good to practice on small targets and to practice from the position that you're planning on shooting when out hunting. Accuracy is the key. Don't be mean, kill them clean. And finally, the Ick Micro LH25 Thermal. I've been using this for a while now and has helped me put a lot extra in the bag. Not only can we see in the dark, it also gives us a good quality image and the detail helps us identify what it actually is we're looking at in the distance. So if there's a rat hiding in the brambles, waiting for us to walk on by so they can come out when we're gone, or a rat hiding in a car tyre, just remember the tables have turned and the game of hide and seek is now over and justice will be served throughout the land. Now I've given you all the rundown, let's head on over and see it in action. The first rat of the evening seems to be chilling out. The sheriff slowly locks onto his target and sends him a stiffener. <laughs> Believe me, that stiffened him right up. This is one of the reasons why it's bad having rats around the farmyard. They climb inside the vehicles and also inside the machinery, chewing away at the wires costing hundreds or if not thousands of pounds worth of damage. The sheriff likes helping out free of charge to collect lots of content to make videos for everyone's entertainment. I just finished taking care of the wiring experts, to find this bodyguard giving me the daggers from the top of the green pile. I switched on the camera and shouted say cheese, the sheriff just made you famous baby. The next few shots you're about to see is from the deputy, he's banned himself from Pornhub and also from up the cow shed. He's on the rifle and it's going to be nice to see him in action again. Well, the rat shooting kind anyway. Even the rats have started watching telly and listening to all the advertisement. You can see this one just sitting there very comfortable and he even feels protected after sliding on a rubber. Oh well, some shots never miss the target no matter what we do. We are now in the deputy's favourite place, the cow shed. This is going to be a tester for him, but he passes with flying colours. And luckily for me, the only thing that he's lifting tonight is the rifle. And he seems to be on form. Thank you. 
The deputy has done me proud tonight and put a few down without any suffering. It's now time for the sheriff to have a go. This next shot is long distance for a rat, but I felt 100% confident. The shot hits the mark, and down goes another scaly tail. Not long after, I seen this one munching on his favourite snack. Mmm, cow shit. So I quickly took aim and sent a slug straight to its brain box. Another rat gets added to the bag thanks to the thermal. The rat's eye is completely covered, so the night vision would have missed this, but because the thermal picks up heat, it was lights out for this rat. If you've been wondering how well these slugs work in sub-12 rifles, then this next shot shows their extra stopping power. The rat didn't move an inch after impact, and this is why I still use them. Thank you very much to everyone who's made it this far in the video, I really do appreciate it. I notice that 91% of people that are watching are not yet subscribed. If you like my content, please hit the subscribe button to help the channel grow and get out to a lot bigger audience. I've recently been doing some raffles on the Ponty Pool Pest Control Facebook group. From the little that I've earned, I bought an audio recorder. Please let me know in the comments below if the shot sounded better and if you'd like it to continue. Thank you very much for your support and watching this video. Keep safe. All the best. Pontypool Pest Control, aka the Sheriff. <laughs>